changes color. So you will get changes color. So I am assuming most of you might know. But how many of you do practice? Any test which you did? Yeah. I wrote a test for that solution and that paper changes color. So you will get changes from that. Nice. So Ishihara was actually so yeah, it's both genetic and it's both acquired as well. And there are During my childhood, I used to face a lot of difficulties when it came to lab experiments or during art and cla uh, craft classes where I couldn't differentiate between some colors. And uh, slowly and gradually, my parents also came to realize about it. So uh, in grade four, I was diagnosed red-green colorblind when my parents took me to an ophthalmologist and he did an Ishihara testing on me. And when I realized that I was colorblind, I also realized that there might be many other students who might be facing the same difficulty and who might not be aware about that, their condition. So I took it up as a social project uh, called Aiding Colors, where I went and did Ishihara testing on many students from government schools and private schools and made them aware about this condition condition and also about further education since there are many jobs like government jobs in aviation, railways and army uh, which do not allow candidates with color vision deficiency. That's why I took it up as an awareness and later I also took it up as a research project where I did computational study to enhance uh, images for colorblind students so that they can see those images better. So uh, I started the Aiding Colors project where I went to many schools, around 30 schools, and I tested over 10,300 students, uh, was able to find about 120 positive cases from that. Initially, I started it in my hometown of Anand, but when I moved to Adani International School, the uh, school over here supported me a lot, and it helped me give a, it give, gave me a platform so that I could conduct camps in the school itself and also at the Gokul Ashram School. And throughout this journey, I was able to influence a lot of students and uh, bring out a lot of awareness about it. I feel schools, especially those in rural areas and underserved uh, areas, are not very aware about color vision deficiency, and many teachers might not know about this condition since it's an in invisible disability. So many students uh, go throughout their childhood without knowing about their condition. Mrs. Namrata Adani's constant support throughout this journey and uh, her will to actually uh, help me bring a change in society was really important to me since she helped me, g she gave me a platform to actually conduct my camps at the school itself and uh, bring out a lot of awareness in the school and do career and psychological counseling for the students. Uh, I found positive for color vision deficiency at our school camps. So as I changed my school in grade 10 to when I was moving to grade 11, uh, and I moved to Adani International, uh, I was able to continue my activity through school itself, not as an individual. So school gave me support to continue my, my Aiding Colors project. And under the CAS uh, activities, under the IVDP curriculum, I was actually able to continue and set up camps in our school and another school called Gokul Ashram, through which I was uh, I got support from my classmates who volunteered in this activity and my school teachers and I was able to test more than 300 students. In the next five years, I wish to take this to the next level to make it more large scale and uh, I would want to incorporate more schools from Gujarat as well as all over India. Uh, I would also want to see some of the policy changes in government like primary health checkups for uh, colorblind students in school itself so that students can become aware from a younger age and also uh, some changes in our textbooks like some images which can be enhanced for the colorblind students so that they can see better. I think the Crest Gold Award which I recently received means the most to me 
and uh, this is because i find i could uh, see that i actually could make an impact in the society through the machine learning analysis which i did uh, where i converted and enhanced images for students so that they can see better and uh, i could actually i felt very grateful that i was able to bring a positive change uh so initially when i discovered that i had color vision deficiency i was uh, quite intimidated and a bit shocked a bit disappointed but uh, i came uh, over the time i came to uh, grow a different perspective on it rather than looking at it as a disability i started looking at it as a challenge which i can bring new solutions to uh, create creative and uh, innovative solutions through technology and bring a change